Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Ross Episode 8! We saw our... Um, well, basically, this episode na to, it's about a, uh, a reunion between friends, but that didn't start out that way. Because ito pala si si Banya Atachi what well, big star na and merong superior and yes yeah, she's got a bit of a superiority complex ang plano pala is to pit them uh, in a in a rush duel in front uh, in, in, on on cable on okay on the local cable, cable TV channel so natuloy eh at first ayaw ni ni Manya kasi well she doesn't like the um uh, she doesn't like the the environment she's in right now well, considering na Mutsuba town is her hometown well this is happening naman uh, the MIK is out for uh, is out looking for uh, a rogue alien which led them to the cable TV studio eventually yun natuloy yung duel then um Manya, uh, during during the first two or three turns, shall not dominate. Then, well, we all know how good a duelist Yuwamu is. Na discard yan siya, eventually nanalo si Yuwamu. After this one, um, sinabi na ni, ni Manya na, well, lahat ng, lahat, lahat, lahat ng sinabi niya before, this duel, and, and during the duel, it's all play acting. Gusto na niya talaga malaman na kung, kung, kung tanda pa ni Yuwamu yung, yung, yung promise na binigay sa kanya ni Yuwamu. Well, the promise they made to each other as friends. Kaya sabi ni Yuwamu, of course! Hindi ko na makakalimutan yun. Best friend kaya kita. So, final scene. Uh, you remember the cat, um, so gets who has in na kumbaga parang it's his um tool in sniffing out aliens na detect ang lapit daw oy full alert na ang MIK so dun na medyo yeah dun na puto ng episode it's been quite a while since we featured Yu-Gi-Oh Gorash our our review of Yu-Gi-Oh Gorash as a daily so not since the pilot, which was, yeah, six weeks ago. So, Patreon, Bigo, Maka Lifestyle, we're gonna, we're gonna break this episode down now. Critic Self Style. After six weeks. This! Except for the dual scene, it has somewhat dragging pacing, eh. Oh, well, I'm on Bigo right now, and, and everybody on Bigo right now saw how, uh, what I meant when I was um, just, uh, before the, before before and after the duel scene I'm going eh. uh, an unusually slow pacing for uh, for a Yu-Gi-Oh series that's uh, that's introducing a new character flow naman I saw the two gear ships here Patreon, Google, Maka Lifestyle first gear ship was when yung was that sequence wherein inangasan ni ni Manya si Yuamu for me it's a gear shift bakit? later on in the episode like I like I told you a while ago ni reveal ni ni Manya that it was all play acting na well sinubukan lang talaga ni yeah, ni Manya kung talagang natatandaan pa ni Yuamu yung pangako nila sa isa't isa this usually shows you how how good uh, how good an actress you are, you mamu. Wait, bayan. Manya is final gear ship was of course the time when you mamu beat uh, Manya in that duel. No brainer there. It simply uh, it simply it simply showed us how good a duelist you mamu is. So these two gear ships that I saw. The first one might play a role down the line in this uh, uh, in this Yu-Gi-Oh 7 spin-off. Uh, Plot-wise, um, 
Malinis ang plot guys The sequence that bound the episode together was the dual scene Talagang dito nagkakaalaman kung uh, bakit ganito ang ugali ni Manya bakit um, how 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 close for how close for these two actually how close uh, these two actually were and talagang kung hindi ganito ang katindi yung dual scene we might have had a we might have had a boring episode we might have uh, we, well bridge might have discussed a um a, a boring episode from my Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Talagang, this was the tie that bound the entire episode. Kaya, well, of course, any dual scene is part of a clean plot. Hindi mo naman masasabi na planchado kasi wala namang side plot. Meron din ba story pero it's just a few seconds eh. To, uh, bilang ko, two to three seconds lang eh. Any, um, any sequence, any sort of backstory sequence na uh, more than 3 seconds yeah it's a long one eh ang gusto ko talagang i-focus sa ipa-focus sa mga tao of course to do the scene yeah yan ang high it's the highlight of every Yu-Gi-Oh! episode so magka magka maglilinger dito sa mga backstories ito eh iklian mo lang yan yeah oh, it's quite negligible dahil everything Manya did in this episode was to uh, was to prove to herself na that Yuamo is still her best friend. Bottom line. So pace flowing plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. So Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 8. Hindi ko sabi Pins. Kung um, kung medyo pinilisan nila ang pacing right from the get-go I might, I might have not given this the one thumb up baka na two thumbs up ko pa ito pero ang talagang nagsalpa sa episode na to is was the dual scene right? I got no complaints about the dual scene talagang it's ako I'm totally expecting uh, these kinds of scenes in a Yu-Gi-Oh! series talagang okay, no it ain't a Yu-Gi-Oh! series without a dual scene. Yeah. Hindi. Boring. Hindi. It would be, be one really boring episode. Yeah. It's the dual scene that actually saved this episode from getting uh, a, a rating lower than than the one I just gave. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 8. Sorry, talaga, baby, hindi ko makaka-lifestyle. Yeah. If it weren't, again, uh, if it weren't for the dual scene, yeah, we might have, I might have given this a lower rating. So, Patreon, Bigo, makaka-lifestyle. Wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck on the CHT after six weeks of, after six weeks, plus, yeah, seven weeks, but I actually, Eh, ano ba magagawa ko? Hindi pa rin lang kayo mag-chill-chill dyan. <laughs> Yan lang ang kaya nyo eh. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.